Let's have a look at the weather news. It's a little bit cloudy over there in West London. And when's the sun going to pop out, do you think, Ben? It's not bad out there, Clive. It's not a bad week of weather. That's the message, really, actually. I think most people will think it's going to be quite a pleasant week of weather. I've got some warm weather. I've got some sunny weather for you at times. But what I don't have for you, really, is a heat wave. You may have heard some chatter online about heat waves. Will there be a heat wave? Well, to get a heat wave, technically, we need to see three consecutive days with temperatures above these thresholds, 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, depending on where you are across the UK. What we're seeing this week is not temperatures at those levels, but high teens, low 20s Celsius. That will feel pleasant when you get yourself into some sunshine. And just about all of us will see some sunshine. Hello there, good afternoon. High pressure is going to be keeping us dry and settled as we head through much of the rest of the week, at least until we get to the first part of the weekend. There'll also be a lot of sunshine on offer as well, but it won't be sunny all the time. In fact, it's been quite a cloudy start to this morning, cloudy and mild, as captured here by our weather watchers here in St James's and again in Richmond. Well, we can't complain too much at this forecast. Looking quite nice, fine and dry for most of the week. Uh, some nice warm, sunny spells. And it is feeling gradually warmer through the week as well. Maybe a touch colder tomorrow, but cold's not really the word. And then we head off to the outlook and not a huge amount of change. Sunny spells with the temperatures doing very well. Let's take a look at the pollen. Well, if you have hay fever, hopefully you'll be able to make the most of the fact that the grass pollen levels are low. There is still, though, some oak pollen in the air. That's it from us all here in Chelsea. Have a lovely evening. Cheerio. Hi, Fiona. We've had some late spring sunshine out there for some of us. And if you have been lucky enough to see the blue skies and the sunshine, it's been quite warm out there. Temperatures up to 23 degrees today. This was the beautiful picture of the west coast of Scotland a little bit earlier on. But Elsewhere, we have had a little bit more cloud, and if you have been trapped under that cloud, it was a little bit slow to warm up through the day. But through the week, fairly similar story. We're going to see high pressure dominating things, so largely dry and settled. Some warm sunshine around, but some of us keeping cloud at times too. <laughs> So the atmosphere, the bees and also the weather have been absolutely buzzing here today. It was a bit of a slow start to the morning, wasn't it? Lots of cloud around earlier on this morning. It took its time, but the sunshine has emerged. Lots of blue sky and it's a beautiful evening ahead. It really is. We got to 20 degrees Celsius in nearby St James's Park. Is it going to last for the rest of the week? In a word, yes. Hello. Many of us have seen quite a lot of sunshine today and in that sunshine, it felt quite warm. There is more of the same to come. Some spells of warm sunshine through the rest of the week. Certainly it is going to stay largely dry, but there'll be some areas of cloud around at times as well. And actually that cloud produced some splashes of rain across parts of southeastern Scotland, northeast England. There was another area of cloud across parts of eastern England that brought a few showers. But uh, whatever the temperatures are doing, if there is sunshine overhead, UV levels are likely to be moderate or high. The sun is strong at this time of year. Now, depending on exactly what this area of high pressure does and how it changes shape, we may, as we get into the weekend and next week, tap into some slightly warmer air from the near continent. There is some uncertainty about that, but it certainly looks like staying largely dry, feeling warm in any sunshine. It's time for the weather and Alex is on Brighton Beach. Playing fast and loose with those waves, Alex. Um, we're going to be in for some warmer weather, though, aren't we? Uh, that's right. The weather will be warming up quite nicely as we head through the course of this week. And like yesterday, it has been a, another lovely day. I've been on Brighton Beach all day where it's been lovely, but this hasn't been the warmest place today. Yesterday, we saw a high of 23.3 degrees, and that was at Port Maddock in North Wales. Well, today, that was slightly beaten. Butte Park in Cardiff uh, recording a top temperature of 23.4 degrees Celsius, and I suspect we'll probably break this warmest day of the year so far record as we head through the next few days. In fact, let's take a look at our air mass chart and see what's going to happen as we head through the course of this week. Well, you can see those warmer colours over much of the British Isles. They stay with us quite firmly as we head through all of this week. And in fact, into next week, it is looking pretty warm and settled as well. Uh, but as I say, here in Brighton, it has been a lovely day. Uh, we spent the day here, you know, milling up and down the beach. There's been hardly any breeze at all, so it has felt quite warm here. Sunshine overhead, people 
uh, who have been off today and who were able to come to the beach certainly did and they've had a really great day and there'll be more of this as we head through the coming days this week as well. Uh, temperatures though, uh, as I say, they are going to be on the up a, a little bit but temporarily just falling back slightly as we head into tomorrow but still hoping to reach uh, the 20 degree mark certainly but as I say on the whole this week and into next it is all looking pretty good. Hopefully it stays this way as we get towards the half term. Well, the forecast over the next couple of days is pretty straightforward. Plenty of sunshine, lots of dry weather and pretty fine conditions in the north and in the south. So it's all pretty good news this Monday evening. As I say, we'll keep you updated as we head through the course of the week. But the main message, Mary, is that the weather is staying fine and settled. Lovely. Thank you very much.